Can you use a non smart whatever Wi Fi something to trigger a power outage alert? You bet you can. In this video, I'll show you how to do that with Habitat. I'm going to use a printer that is not smart in, well, maybe it is smart in its own way. <laughs> Uh, I'll use that to trigger an alert that'll uh, tell me when the power is out in the home. Now to do this, you're going to need some kind of Wi-Fi device. It doesn't matter what it is, but it's going to need a static IP. So uh, you'll have to consult your router documentation to do that. And uh, once you have your static IP address set, let's take a look into Habitat on how we can uh, set this up to tell us when the power is out. All right, to start out, we're just going to get that IP address for the printer. So I have my stuff all labeled nicely, so I can easily find that here in my list. So as you can see, my printer has an IP address of 192.168.10.30. So that's the IP address I'm going to need to use inside of Hubitat. Once I have that, I'm going to go to Rule Machine, and we're going to create a new rule. And we'll just call it test power out. Continue. Now you can use whatever you want for a trigger here. I'm just going to select uh, a time interval uh, to do that. So periodic schedule. And let's just go with uh, 10 minutes and click on done. Done with that trigger. And done with trigger events. Let's create an action first here. We're going to click on send message, this, this box here, and we're going to ping IP address 192.168.10.30. And we're going to click on done. And now what this will do, if we go with done with actions here and install the rule, just so we can update it and see what it does. And run action. Now we see we've got a value or a uh, function here of percent value that returned a number of zero. Now we need to do something with that. I'll show you what you can do. We're going to set our own variable. We will create a variable here. Uh, just call it ping or whatever you want to call it. Save it. And the value, we can just change that to number. And initially we'll set that to number one. Perfect, now we're done with that. Okay, next thing we wanna do is to create a new action. And we're gonna set that ping now based on what it's actually getting from the printer. So we're gonna set the variable and we are going to set variable of ping and that's gonna be a string. And here we're just gonna type in percent value, percent. Click on save and done with the action. And if you're wondering where do I get that percent value from, that's right over here. So what we're telling it to do is set the ping to the value that it actually retrieves when the script runs. Anyway, back into it. Now we're gonna create a new action and it's gonna be conditional with an if expression. We're going to need a new condition if the variable of ping is equal to 100. 100 is the value for a timeout or a no response in uh, Habitat. So 100 is no response, 0 is a response of three packets back. So power on would be a 0, power off would be 100. Click on save, done with that condition, done with the if expression then, and here's where you put whatever function that you want. So we can create a new action here and we can just uh, control switches, turn a switch on or off, and I'll just put something in here. For me, this is why I wanted to set this thing up. For me, this is why I wanted to set this thing up. I wanted to automatically, if the power goes out, my Hubitat is already on a battery backup system. So uh, if the furnace uh, battery backup kicks in, I want it to charge back up after the power comes back on. So this is how or this is why 
I put this function in there. So I just want the backup power maintenance to come on if the power goes out, charging the batteries back up and resetting the furnace so it's ready for its next use. Click on update here, turn it on, done with the action, and we can end the if statement. Now, optionally, you might want to build in some other variables here, but this will already do the trick. As you can see now, it's already uh, reporting one, and that's false, and that's because we set that value initially to one. So if we click on done with actions, and now we can update the rule, and we can run the actions and we can see what we got. And you'll notice now the ping value has gone to zero, and if it goes to 100, then the power backup power maintenance would turn on. So to demonstrate that, I'll just yank the plug out of that printer and we'll run it again. So I just pulled the cord from the printer and uh, we'll run those actions again. And now you see it turns to true. Hence, power is out and I'm using a Wi-Fi printer that has no smart capability just as something that I can ping off of to let me know that that power is off. Hopefully that was helpful. If you like videos like this, there's uh, stuff coming up on the channel. I'm kind of all over the place, but if you do have a request of what you'd like to see Habitat do, I'll do my best to see if I can figure it out for you and I'd put a video over on the side when I do figure that out.